I'm an idiot. <laughs> my last video where I repaired my tire I went on that mountain biking trip and then I got home and the next day that's right my tire is flat again now I have no idea why this tire is going flat so what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna go to the only event in uh, repair shop dealer in all of Ventura County What's going on, man? Hey, welcome in. So here's the tire. Beautiful. And what's your name, man? My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Nice to meet you, brother. All right, so uh, this is the only place I can find within 50 miles <laughs> right? that I can actually get this done. So I'm wondering, like, why is it that uh, only certain places can work on events and products? Yeah, you know, it's really into some of uh, the parts. You know, some of the increments that they use are a little bit different. Sometimes you need specific tools to get certain things off uh, on the bike. So it's kind of hard to be kind of like a universal bike shop where you can work on everyone like most of the bike shops. Got it. Is there like an insurance reasons for it? That as well, you know, um, you know, if you're not really certified, I guess you could say, not most places aren't really certified to work on these, but if you're not, you don't really know how to work on it, it's super easy to mess it up. Got it. You know, and you know, these bikes are super fast, so you know, they, they can be dangerous. I got a flat tire, first one in 800 miles. Oh wow. I changed it out myself. Yeah. Then I went on a mountain biking ride, yeah. not very far, mm. and it was flat again the next morning. Mm. So I have no idea why it's flattening. Yeah. I did forget to check the inside of the rim, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping it's not like something messed up. In the it rim. shouldn't be inside the rim. It should be anything that may have been probably on here. It could have been pinched possibly when putting it back on. There could have been a slight pinch. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm wondering, uh, why do most people rent e-bikes in general? Yeah, uh, you know, because it's, you know, it's getting new, it's getting crazy, the technology's getting better, the stigma that people had was there, everybody was scared, you know, or they didn't, they thought it wasn't a workout, or all this type of stuff, so <laughs> they had a bad taste in their mouth, uh, you know, like the dot com era, nobody wanted to join, but now look at it, you know, they're all starting to yeah, come everybody along, needs a everybody, website. the pro, it's a running joke, you know, probably trying a new bike, you end up buying a new bike. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. So. <laughs> Dude, so I, I work uh, seven miles away from my, my work, and I'm so happy I bought the Events and Adventure that I ride to work whenever possible. Yeah. Do you, you that, find that to be a common thing? Yeah, day? you know, tons of teachers, tons of doctors, tons of pilots. Uh, a lot of these people are uh, buying them, using them for, you know, throwing them in their RVs or in their plane or, you know, their in office. Their plane, that's yeah, awesome. you know, because it all folds up, you know, some yeah. of them do, so. Sweet. All right. So uh, I see you've got a lot of different ones here. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's your uh, What's your most popular one? Here? Probably the one you got. The yeah. Adventure Adventure. Yeah, the Adventure. I would say the Adventure probably the most popular. Uh, I would say probably my most favorite will probably either be the Suron or the Rockstar. Yeah, uh, Surons are pretty cool. Yeah, those are two of my favorites. It's not really a pedaling bike though, right? No, no yeah, pedaling. Yeah, yeah. Pure dirt bike, pretty much. Man, that thing is that thing is giant. Yeah, that's the LX. That's the Saunders LX, 1100 watt peak, uh, beautiful bike. I love yeah, I love Saunders and I love Abington. Those are the two great. What's bikes. what's the mileage on that thing? Uh, about uh, 60, 60, 60 miles. miles? Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, and you guys rent these out here? Yes, we do. Twenty five an hour, uh, one twenty five for the whole day. Um, you can call us, text us. Uh, we've got a website as well, eight hundred five e bikes. And we're also on social media. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna get this repaired here because I don't know what I'm doing apparently. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah. uh, let's get the process going. All righty. We're talking about the Suron right now. I was yeah. asking how much it was to rent and all that. Yeah, so we bought it at the, the regular price, you know, that you would as like a regular customer without any uh, wholesale account or anything. And then uh, one of the customers uh, loved it, let us have it here for two weeks. And then we just got so many calls on it. I mean, it's an electric dirt bike. It's yeah. It's sweet, except more of like a mountain bike than a dirt bike. Right, exactly. Yeah, there's no pedals on it. You can do the pedals. You could do a belt drive or 
a regular chain dri uh, drive. I'd imagine belt drive is the way to go on that though. Yeah, it's a lot quieter. Yeah, I've seen some YouTubers that have some uh, YouTube channels that are all about the Suron. The Surons are insane, man. They're such a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. I'll definitely look into getting one of those when yeah. it's like, uh, when they could go maybe 150 miles on a charge. Right. You know they, what I mean? They have the batteries uh, that you can upgrade. I think it's like four grand or something like that. Go about 80 miles on charge. That's, that's still pretty good right it there. It is, yeah, it's really good. So. Definitely want to try one. Someday. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's a brand new tube. I don't right. see why that one right. sh shouldn't work. It should. I wonder if I just put that on wrong. It could have been. Water. Yeah, just feeling and listening for anything. Yeah, yeah. Normally I can hear it. I'm not hearing anything. And I'm willing to bet it's probably all right if it's a new tube. Yeah, it literally went on one ride, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe eight miles. Yeah, so it should be. A little bit of soap in the water. Yeah, a little soap water. Move it around. It's holding. I mean, it was a slow leak. It was overnight. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you know what? It could have could have been. Was this may not have just been fully tightened? Yeah. Could have been slight, because uh, this looks like it's all good. Normally, I won't have this pressure. Yeah, it would already start to flare. Yeah, right? it would already be out, and I'm not seeing any bubbles. And sometimes it may just get pinched on the rim, but normally if it's pinched and it just pop, it does pop it. Yeah, but, when you're uh, putting it back on, right? Yeah. We look good here. I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, so if it wasn't on that, then it's definitely not this rim. Yeah, it's not that. I'm gonna feel in here. Yeah, I even double checked in there too. Yeah. I didn't see anything. It's probably just I was an idiot and didn't uh, it, screw that on all the way. It could have been. Those valves sometimes can do that. What's a, the valve called again? It's a... Uh, it's a, uh, uh, not a Presta, or a Presta. Yeah, a Presta. Yep, Presta, Presta. yep. Yeah. God, I hope that's not what it was. Drive <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50 miles for that, man. Right? <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, this, yeah. people, people love uh, biking content. Yes, they sure. do. People do love this stuff. Especially e-bikes, it's really starting to grow. Yeah, people, yeah, you, um, you may know, um, uh, Simple Pleasures. Oh, it sounds familiar. Yeah, he's a big, big, uh, he has a rock star. Uh, the Saunders Rockstar, one of my favorites, but he's a big uh, uh, YouTuber. Uh, he's actually my neighbor. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, we gave him uh, a Rockstar, and then he just started doing uh, channels, and then uh, he just started blowing up, and now that's kind of what he does. Right now, I'm just doing it for fun. Hey, that's what you gotta do. When, when I changed this tire, it took me so long to get this. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I have a video of me doing it, oh, and it's yeah. like a, thir it's a 30 second thing in the video, but in reality, it took me like 40 minutes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it makes it, so these weird tires sometimes are, are hard. And the tool I had, it just, it wasn't as beefy as that one either. Yeah, these are That's the, the grill grips. Yeah, these things, these things do not break. You'll break your rim before you break these. Did you leave the uh, Presta valve open while you did this? Yes, Presta's open, no pressure, so everything's all, that way we can seed the tire better. Mm -hmm. uh, because if it's any pressure, it's not gonna seed properly. So we leave it all loose for right now. And then if you need to move the tube as well, because you want this to be su you know, super straight. I'm super straight. As it is right now, so you can kind of turn it when it's not compressed. Yeah, it's gotta be the valve. It's gotta yeah, be the valve, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A lot of trial and error with this bike right. for me. <laughs> you got a good one, though. Let me tell you. Oh, I did a lot of research on yeah. the, the e-bikes, man. That's a great, great, great bike. I yeah. love it, man. Like, the Surat will be the next one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially when the mileage is more. Yeah, exactly. We just need that next step in battery technology. Is really I know, nice. right? How many people get uh, vacationing here that rent bikes? Lots. Yeah? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, team schools. Riding up to Ojai, uh, there's a lot of stuff up in there. So yeah, I haven't done love... that ride yet, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, yeah, Ojai's a beautiful ride. There's a lot of great tours up there. The, our bikes get all the way up there and back, so. Uh, so they about... ride it from here, yep. all the way through, up yep. and through and back? Yep, yep, about 32 miles round trip. Okay. So it's cutting it close because it yeah. is uphill, but you we do it, you know, 10 rides a week. That's uh, oh, do you guys so. do like group rides? We do, we don't do the ride, the like tours, but we have tons of groups that do go. Oh, okay, that's cool. So 
Cool, brother. Well, you're all good to go. No charge at all. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I really appreciate that, of course, man. Of brother. Thank yeah, you so much. I course. appreciate it. Of course. Of course. At least you could have done it after driving 50 <laughs> miles, you know? Yeah, coming from Thousand <laughs> Oaks all the way over here. Right? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that was really cool of Anthony to hook me up with that, uh, that service there. He didn't have to do that, I really do appreciate it. If you're ever in the Ventura area, definitely go check out that bike shop. Great service, man. Got a nice pumped up tire, could finally ride again, which is really nice. Let's get home and put it back on. Good to have my bike back. Time to start riding to work. That's what I'm talking about.